Do you want to study, work or live abroad in a country like the UK or Australia, Canada, USA or any other English speaking country? Or are you looking for a promotion where English proficiency is a must? If you have answered yes to one of these questions, then IELTS can help you avail these opportunities. Previously, we have gone through the registration process for IELTS with the British Council. In this video, it's time to learn the differences between the two types of IELTS. IELTS, the International English Language Testing System, is designed to assess the language ability of people who need to study, work, or live in a country where English is the primary language of communication. That's why IELTS has become an essential component for many of us. There are mainly two types of IELTS tests. The first one is regular IELTS, under which we have IELTS Academic and IELTS General Training. IELTS Academic is for students who want to go for higher studies like an undergraduate program, a postgraduate program, or even higher degrees. And for that, you need to sit for the IELTS Academic test, which will evaluate your English skills for academic communication. And if you want to work or live in an English-speaking country, then you have to sit for IELTS General Training. This test will assess your English skills in formal communication. For example, imagine a situation where you have to write an email to your boss. So the best practice is to avoid can'ts and don'ts and use cannot and do not instead. See the difference? That was briefly all about the regular IELTS. Now let's know about the second kind of IELTS. It is the Secure English Language Test, known as CELT in short, under which we have IELTS for UK VI and IELTS Life Skills. Both of these tests are under the UK Visas and Immigration, UK VI wing and have different purposes. So what are their purposes? The IELTS for UK VI is for you if you want to study or work in the UK. You have to prove your English skills as part of the visa application process and the British Council offers this test in Sillet and in Dhaka. Now the IELTS Life Skills is for you if you are applying for a visa for the UK and have your spouse or any other relative who is a UK citizen already. And if you are already living in the UK and want to apply for citizenship, you need this test, the IELTS Life Skills Test. Now take a moment and rewind if you got lost in the way. What IELTS for UK VI and Life Skills have in common is that all the modules are video recorded. Module-wise, IELTS Life Skills only has the listening and speaking modules. And here, there are some specific one-step instructions you have to follow during these modules. Now please remember, that for the regular IELTS, the British Council has centers in seven cities of Bangladesh. So you can sit for your IELTS from your city without any hassle. For CELT-approved IELTS tests, they are offered in Dhaka and Silet as of yet. Up next, we are going to discuss the test formats, including the scoring format of the four different modules of the IELTS test. So stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you then. To book your IELTS, visit www.britishcouncil.org.bu.